Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to combine some of our knowledge of Cholesky decomposition and computing log determinants to compute the log likelihood of a multivariate normal distribution. So I've gone ahead and I've imported NumPy, I've imported SciPy linear algebra, and I've also imported the SciPy stats multivariate normal function so that we can compare against that. The first thing we're going to do is just create a positive definite matrix. That's very easy to do. We can just do np.random.normal, and then we'll take in two parameters, n and n. I'll have to define n. This will be the size of our matrix. Let's just do something small, n equal 10 for now. And then we'll define a covariance matrix C to be x transpose dot dot x. That'll give us something that's nice and symmetric, and also positive definite. Since we're computing a, uh, the log likelihood of a multivariate normal, we might want to define what the mean vector of that multivariate normal should be. I'll just pick something easy, uh, np.1s of the appropriate size. And then we'll also need to uh, create some data that for which we're going to compute the log likelihood. So we'll say y equals np.random.normal and comma. As it turns out, we need to normal, well, we need to subtract the mean from this data. So we'll do y minus mu. And then from here, we might go ahead and compute the Cholesky decomposition, decomposition of C. So spla.cholesky input C, and we'll make sure it's a lower triangular matrix. Then we can go ahead and solve the Cholesky system against y prime. So that's spla.cho solve. And then we have to provide L and a Boolean, that it is a lower triangular matrix, along with y prime. Okay. And then we also need to take a dot product of that with y prime again. So we'll do, why don't we just do y prime dot dot and then the solved system. Okay, the next thing that we need is uh, the log determinant. So we remember that uh, we can t use the diagonal of the Cholesky decomposition for that. For, we'll end up with np.sum, np.log, np.diag, L, and then I'll just call this beta. Okay, so then we can print out one log likelihood. R log likelihood, and that's going to be minus one half times alpha plus, excuse me, plus beta minus n over two times np np dot log np dot pi two times that and actually excuse me I think this was minus and then we'll do print out psi pi log likelihood and that's very easy it's just multivariate normal dot log PDF input y mean equals mu cove equals c and then we can run this like this. And that looks pretty close. I'm quite happy with that. Let's put some tabs in here so maybe we can read it a little bit better. Actually, maybe we don't need tabs. We can just indent or just uh, add some spaces. We might run it again. Looking good. So. For all intents and purposes, this is going to be pretty much the exact same number. Now, if you make the matrices larger, you might find that there's a little bit of disagreement um, in, in more significant digits. I think this has something to do with implementation details um, in sci-fi, uh, but I'm not sure. It's really close regardless. If I divide this by n. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I don't see what could be going wrong with uh, 
with this approach, um, but very similar results. And this is how you can use uh, some techniques from numerical computing, Cholesky decompositions again, um, and also the trick involving the sum of the log of the diagonal entries in order to obtain the log determinant. That's uh, especially good. And uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.